Have you been wondering why we haven't heard any real updates on the AGT-103T HIV vaccine lately? Even though it once made headlines as a potential game changer? Well, you're not alone. The silence has raised eyebrows, sparked concern, and left many searching for answers. Stick with this video till the end. Because not only are we unpacking everything that's happening or not happening with AGT-103T, but at the end of this video, we'll share how you can take proactive steps to protect your health today, including how to get quick, confidential HIV RNA testing near you. Introduction AGT-103T was once positioned as one of the most promising gene therapy approaches in the fight against HIV. It was supposed to be revolutionary, a therapy that modifies your own immune cells to help fight the virus similar to how CAR-T therapy works in cancer. But as of 2025, updates are nearly non-existent. No new clinical trial results, no press releases, no breakthroughs. So what's going on? In today's video, we'll explore what exactly is AGT-103T and how it was supposed to work, why it made such a big splash in the HIV research community, the timeline of AGT-103T, what we've seen so far, why we haven't heard anything new, the possible reasons for the silence, what this could mean for the future of HIV cure research, the role of gene therapy and immune cell engineering today, what you can do now, including access to confidential HIV RNA testing. So without a further delay, let's get started. What is AGT-103T? It is a gene-modified autologous T-cell therapy developed by American Gene Technologies, AGT. It's designed to reprogram a patient's own T-cells to resist HIV infection and clear latent virus reservoirs in the body. The process involves extracting T cells from a patient, modifying them using lentiviral vectors to remove the CCR5 receptor and boost antiviral activity. Reinfusing those engineered cells back into the body in theory, this would give the patient a population of immune cells that HIV can infect, while supercharging the immune response to hunt down and eliminate infected cells. The buzz around AGT103T, why the hype? AGT made headlines in 2020 and 2021 after receiving FDA clearance to start a phase one clinical trial. They claimed agt 103 t had the potential to functionally cure HIV lab data showed strong safety and antiviral activity. Their cell manufacturing process was scalable and efficient. News outlets, social media, and even HIV advocacy groups began discussing agt 103 t as one of the top contenders in the race for a cure. There was even optimism that this therapy could move from phase one to broader use within just a few years. So what happened? Timeline of AGT-103T, 2020 to 2024. Let's break down the public data we have. 2020, FDA approves phase one clinical trial. 2021, 2022, AGT begins enrolling patients. Early safety data reportedly exceeded expectations. Late 2022, AGT shares optimistic updates saying results would be published soon. 2023, silence. 2024, still no published peer-reviewed results. Minimal media mentions. No new press briefings. Why no update, the possible reasons? In slow trial progress, gene therapy trials are incredibly complex. Recruitment takes time, regulatory requirements are tight, and COVID-related delays may have slowed things down even further. Two, data not ready or inconclusive. Phase one is primarily about safety, not efficacy. It's possible that the trial data didn't show enough to move forward, or the data is still being analyzed, cleaned, and prepped for publication. Peer-reviewed studies can take months to years to publish, especially for first-in-human trials. Three, funding or resource constraints. Despite promising science, biotech startups like AGT often face financial challenges. If investor interest slowed or cash flow was impacted, that could delay the next phase. Four, regulatory review or hold. Sometimes the FDA places partial clinical holds if questions arise about trial data, cell manufacturing processes, or adverse events. These reviews can take months and companies don't always publicize them immediately. Five, strategic silence for competitive reasons. It's also possible that AGT is keeping things quiet intentionally, waiting to file patents, protect IP, or avoid tipping off competitors until they're ready to make a bigger move. What this means for HIV cure research. While the silence around agt one ot is frustrating, it doesn't mean progress has stopped altogether. Here's what's still happening in the field. Other gene therapies, like CRISPR or Cas9-based trials, are moving forward. The mRNA vaccine space is developing HIV therapeutic candidates. 
Antibody treatments and latency reversal agents are still in active clinical testing. In other words, AGT103T isn't the only hope, but it's a reminder that curing HIV is complex and slow. It also underscores the need for transparency in clinical research, especially when it impacts public trust in vulnerable communities. What should you do right now? Here's the bottom line. Even though AGT103T updates are on hold, you can still take control of your health right now. If you're concerned about HIV exposure, symptoms, or status, the best thing you can do is get tested early and with the most accurate technology available. Why choose HIV RNA testing? The HIV RNA test is the earliest detection method. It can detect HIV as soon as 7 to 33 days after exposure. Highly accurate and reliable, perfect for people who recently had unprotected sex or a potential exposure. Confidential and fast, with results in one to two days. If you're feeling anxious, uncertain, or simply want peace of mind, don't wait. Visit HIVRNATestGuide.com. Quick, affordable, 100%. Confidential, available across the USA. Conclusion. The journey to cure HIV is long, and it may take time for therapies like AGT-103T to reach the public. But you don't have to wait for a cure to take action. You have the tools to protect yourself, monitor your health, and take back control. Starting today. If you found this video helpful, hit that like, subscribe, and share. It with someone who needs clarity on HIV testing and treatments. Drop your questions in the comments, and we'll answer them in a future video. Thanks for watching. And remember, early detection saves lives.